Violent shooting we've covered just this week in the last four days. In fact, on Monday, a woman was shot by her husband in Dawson County. It happened at a fire station in the parking lot after she drove there with her two young kids trying to get help. Her husband, Jeremy Gibson's in custody. These two cases shine a light on an issue that people say are often causes people to be afraid or ashamed to talk about. Caitlin Ross has that angle for us. Caitlin, this seems like so much tragedy in a week. We know it is prevalent in our state. It's heartbreaking, Cheryl. If you look at the national statistics, it shows you just how big of a problem this is. Two years ago, the CDC issued a report on female murder victims. The numbers were shocking. It showed more than half, 55%, died as a result of domestic abuse, primarily from their male partners. Black and Native American women were killed at a rate that was two and a half times that of white or Asian women. We spoke to a domestic violence survivor from Fairburn who started a counseling service to help other survivors. The men who are doing the killing and the abusing uh, pretty much get a slap on the wrist. Even if they do kill the woman, they may only get 8 to 15. Grant was shot four times by her husband in front of their children before he turned the gun on himself. She said he'd never been physically violent before, but was emotionally abusive. Here are some warning signs. If your partner tries to isolate you or tell you who you can and can't see, Grant says abuse can often start as a control issue and then escalate to violence. All right, Caitlin, thanks a lot. Turning our attention now to Don